winning. All right. We have four minutes to go time. I'm going to get on a little bit early and make sure everybody can find me and get all set up. Don't mind me while I just suck down as much coffee as possible before we start. <laughs> all right. So we wait for folks to get on. I'm going to make sure you can see everything and that I don't drop my computer on the ground. <gasps> Hi, Mom. Hi, Dits. Good morning, you guys. <sighs> I woke up at five something and it was really gross out. So I went back to bed. <laughs> and now it's actually quite nice. I'm glad I did that. Plus I got a little extra sleep. All right. That's all. Morning, Charity. <laughs> Isn't it nine where you are, though? <laughs> Jealous. Sleep until nine. I don't even think I could do that. Impossible. Good morning, Charity. All right, two more minutes. Um, so, expecting maybe a couple other people. So, we're going to do a warm up today. We have a 17 minute total workout. So, we'll get started right at seven, and I will go over warm up movements as we do them, and then I'll kind of give an overview of the workout, and then you can just dial in your form as we go. <laughs> but if you have questions, maybe try to ask them before the workout starts because it's hard for me to look at comments while working out, obviously. But we are going to be doing some core work and push-ups. Did you hear that? Push-ups. So if you need something for your knees, yay, good morning, Craig. If you need something for your knees um, or your hands, like if you're outside like I am, um, or if you need something for your knees for push-ups, stuff like that, you can grab that now as well. We'll get started here in one minute. It's so nice to see you guys. <laughs> I always say I wish I could see you, but it's really nice to have you during workout with me. Morning, Connie. I don't know if you're working out. You might already be at school. I don't know what time you get in, usually. Yay, push-ups. <laughs> Haven't you been working on your push-ups, though? How are they going? Also, Mom, you have to know that when I'm in Nashville, we're going to have to do this together. So you and Olivia can do it with me. I'd say Phil, but it's probably unlikely. Maybe Dotes and Craig can get Phil to do it. We'll do a whole family workout on Wednesday. All right, you guys, it's officially 7. Hey, Mom, if you um, know your friends, you can tag your friend. Kathy, you would mentioned her. You can tag her um, in the comments if you think she might be having trouble finding it. Jason! Are you going to work out with us, Jason? <laughs> All right, it is seven o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and get started on our warm up. Our warm up's fairly um, core heavy and a little bit maybe slower, so a little less about getting our heart rate up today and more about just um, working on some weaknesses like core stability, um, which I'd mentioned working on and stuff like that. So just follow along with me at your own pace, do what you can, and here we go. So we're going to start with five inchworms. We do these a lot, I love inchworms. So Feet, your hands to the ground, bend your knees as much as you need to to make this happen. The little ant, you're going to come down into a plank position and then you're going to do a push up. You can also do a push up on your knees or you can just hold the plank position for a pause. And I'll show you what that looks like on this next one. This is funny because you can't see my head. All right, that was one. We go number two. 
So if I'm not doing a push-up, I can just do this, maybe walk my hands out a little bit more, pause, keep that core really tight, walk back in. It's two. I'll show you what it looks like with knees here on this one. So plank position, knees, push-up. Three, two more. It feels good on the hamstrings, back of the legs. As you come in, really pull that stomach in. Think about using every muscle here. Nice full body warm up. And again, bend your knees as much as you need to. All right. Now we're going to do five plank around the world. So what this looks like is trying to keep hold of plank, hold that steady position, and we're going to lift up one appendage at a time. So we're going to start with our left hand and you might find yourself wanting to go spread out your feet a little bit more. So left arm up, pause and down. Right arm up, pause, down. Right foot up, squeeze that butt and down. Left foot up, squeeze your butt, down. That's one. Left arm, good. Right arm, right foot, left foot, if this is too hard, you can also just hold that plank. Left arm, just two through. Right arm, right leg, left leg. That's three. Left arm, right arm. Then do what you can. Right leg, left leg. Sometimes the plank march with the feet is easier. So if you want to just do your feet back and forth, and leave the arms out, that's really fine as well. This is our last one. Here we go, awesome. Shake those arms out, feel them in the shoulders. Okay, 10 heel taps. So this is a really good core stability um, movement. So you're gonna lay down. And what I want you to think about, sorry for all the noise in our neighborhood. What I want you to think about is pulling your belly button into the ground. So what you're gonna do is pull your belly button down and you can almost think about pulling your hip bones up so that your pelvis kind of rotates and your entire lower back should be pressed against the ground. It's harder to get in that position than you think, but I want you to try to hold that as much as possible. And then your feet can come up at 90 degree angle. And then one at a time, you're gonna reach down and tap a heel. This might seem silly, but the ability to keep that core pressed against the ground is really challenging. So two, you probably see me start shaking three, four, and if it does feel too easy, five, you can reach your whole leg out, six, there you see the shake starting, seven, good, back still pressed against the ground, eight, takes a lot of core strength to keep that pressed in there, and ten, good, all right, and I'm going to do ten, oh, <laughs> Samson stretch. So standing up, just take a nice lunge forward. Get down in that lunge as low as you can. Squeeze your butt and kind of push your pelvis forward just a little bit. You should feel a little bit of a stretch in the front there. Link your hands together. Reach up overhead. What we're not doing is we're not leaning back. Just reaching up overhead. That's one. And then next foot. Two, again, kind of squeeze that butt, feel it in the front of the leg. Three, that core tight always. Five, our balance this morning. Six, seven. Eight, two more. And if you don't get in the same number of reps as me, like maybe you only do six here, totally fine. Just go at your own pace here on this one. All right, five more inchworms. We're going to do that whole thing one more time, you guys. So here we go. Down into that inchworm. Remember those push up scales. Awesome. One. I had to go see Olivia's yoga mat out of her room this morning. <laughs> Two. Hopefully she's not mad at me. <laughs> if 
challenging but just do the feet that's totally fine or just hold the plank for as long as you can all right so here we go left arm try not to rotate your core right arm right leg squeeze your butt on these left leg good that's one left arm right arm right leg left leg two left arm right arm Right leg, left leg, three, left arm, right arm, right leg, left leg, one more, left arm, right arm, right leg, left leg. It took me a really long time to be able to actually squeeze my butt in that position. You might find your hamstrings working or your back working, so really try to squeeze your butt on those. All right, heel taps, 10 of these. All right, pull that belly button into the ground, and here we go. One, two, good. Remember, you can just do a heel tap if you're having trouble keeping your back against the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, good, two more. Nine, ten. My favorite core movements right there. Let me check on time. Okay. Samson stretch, lunge. Just gonna do, I think I'm just gonna do six of these here. I wanna make sure I have enough time to talk about the workout. Two. Three. Warming up and doing this joint prep is really important. Switch. Two more. But when we're doing just body weight movements, we also get to kind of warm up a little bit more as we work out, which is great. So if you ever come in late, good, yes, that was six. Grab some water. So if you ever come in late, feel free to just jump right in. Um, just know that you're probably gonna go a little bit slower until your body gets warmed up and kind of ready to roll. All right, so let's talk about this workout. We are gonna do five, two, five three, <laughs> all the numbers, three five-minute AMRAPs. So an AMRAP is as many rounds as possible. So we're going to work hard for five minutes. We're going to take a minute of rest, work for another five minutes, minute of rest, work for another five minutes. So um, kind of simple structure there, 17 minutes total, which is great. You can see the workout up over there. So for the first, um, for the first one, we're going to do 30 high knees, plank 20 plank shoulder taps, and 10 leg raises. So I'm going to show you all of those. High knees, it's just what it sounds like. Pull those knees up high. If that begins to get difficult, then you can just run in place, right? Jog in place. That's just to get your heart rate up. Plank shoulder taps, holding a plank position. We're gonna tap your thumb to your same shoulder, right? And if that's too challenging, you can really just hold a plank for the amount of time that I'm working, or you can just try to pull your hand up just a little bit. Right? You can also go down to your knees in a plank, and it's still very challenging, and that might give you the ability to do something a little bit different. Leg raises, just like with those heel taps, you want that core to be set, and then legs down and up. What I want you to do is only let your legs go as low as they can without your back coming off the ground. So oftentimes, to go low, people will arch their back, don't hurt your back. Keep it pressed against the ground. And if it's easier, if you don't have something to hang on to, you might scissor these, and you might see me do that as well, just because it's easier if you have something like a chair leg or, a, well, not a chair leg, a couch leg to hold on to. Cool, so we'll talk about scales on that as we go as well. So that's our first five minute AMRAP. We're just gonna repeat that. Your options for pacing are either to do that 30 high knees, 
20 shoulder taps, 10 leg raises, and just ignore me and do that at your own pace. Or your other option is don't even count and just work for the amount of time that I'm working. And that way you can stay right with me and listen to the scales and all that stuff. See how hard it is to talk when I'm working out? It's like low budget videos, right? <laughs> I feel like in those workout videos, they must pause and like take showers and all that stuff. Man, it's legit. Anyways, I like being real for you guys. <laughs> all right, so our second one is going to be lunges, squats, and push-ups. And so those I'll probably just talk about as we go. Well, maybe I'll go really quick. So for lunges, I'm going to alternate my lunges, but your other option is to do 15 on one side and then 15 on the other, and that's really helpful if balance is an issue. You can also lightly support yourself with something. So let me show you what that looks like. If balance is an issue, I might get myself into a lunge position, which is feet shoulder width apart going down as low as you can, as low as you feel comfortable. That right there just helps with balance. And then maybe I just pulse here. And then as I have my hand out, and I'm not gripping it, I'm not using it for support or help, it's just helping me keep balance. Cool. If alternating is comfortable, you can alternate. I'll talk about squats as we do them, and I'll talk about push-ups as we do them. Um, one option for a push-up, if even the knees are too hard, is an elevated push-up. So you can do a push-up like on a um, kitchen counter or a chair. I can kind of show you. Here. If I was doing it on a kitchen counter, nice strong plank position, come down and press up. You can also do those against the wall. So lots and lots of options for scaling, which is exciting, right? No excuses. Okay, you guys, it is 7.13. We have a 17-minute workout, so we got to get started now. I'll explain more as we go. I have water nearby, and I'm using my smart wad, as always. Funny thing, I'm still using the Tabata app, so I just set it up as three rounds. Five minutes of work, one minute of rest. Easy peasy. All right, 10 seconds to start, you guys. Oh, and our third one is just repeating the first one. I didn't explain that. All right, here we go. Four seconds. Three, two, one, and 30 high knees. That's 30, awesome. Again, you can work just with me or do your own counting. So shoulder taps. One, two, three. I'm going to try to keep that core nice and stable. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Don't let that butt come up. 20 cracking notes, you can let each other know how you're doing. All right, leg raises, you guys. 10 of these. Also bend those legs a little bit if that helps. Back to those high knees. 30. Good. Four more. Don't let that back arch or that butt sag here. And 20. Good. Keep that pelvis tucked just like you do on the ground here for these leg raises. So another scale here would be bent knees. One. Two. So really find that scale that works for you. Three. That allows you to press that back against the ground. Four. Five. And it might change as we go. Six, seven. This will really help protect that lower back, you guys. Nine, ten. Especially if you'd like to lift 
heavy weights overhead. Really important strength there. All right. One, two, three, five, six, seven, ten. We have two minutes left. Twenty. Thirty. Shoulder taps. Tuck that pelvis. Keep that core stable. Meaning don't rotate here. No rotating. I think that was 10. <laughs> so, 13. My abs are starting to feel it. Leg raises. Sorry, I feel my back come off the ground, so I'm switching to the scissor. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just feeling it in the abs yet? 45 seconds. Thanks. Bug. All kinds of all kinds of guys joining me today. <laughs> all right, thumbs up. You guys doing good? Feeling good? A minute of rest goes by fast. We have thirty seconds left. Next up, a little more legs with our lunges, our squats, and then arms with our push-ups. More core, of course. <laughs> all right. 15 seconds, we're gonna start with lunges. Remember, I'm gonna alternate, but you do not have to. All right, you guys getting ready, five seconds. Three, two, one, here we go into those lunges. Remember, you can do 15 on one side and 15 on the other. Okay, if balance is an issue. Or normally I try to tap my knee, but that hurts out here, I just realized. <laughs> Good. Nine, ten, eleven. Make sure that back heel is pointing up toward the ceiling. Fifteen. I might have lost count. Sorry, guys. Sixteen, but I'm close. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ten more. Twenty-one. If you're ever wondering about your form on something, twenty-two. Three, and you don't have a coach to ask, or something just doesn't feel right, it's 26, <laughs> four more. You can totally send me a video. I'd love to look at it. You can personal message it to me on Facebook. Last one, you guys. Fit 20 squats. And I'll let you know how your form looks. All right, squats. If that squat goes low as you can, press those knees out wide. Don't let them cave in. Two, three, four. Also, don't let those knees... Go in front of your toes. Seven. If they're going in front of your toes, don't go as low. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. You want to pick up the pace? You can totally go at your own pace. Eighteen. Two more. Twenty. Ten push-ups. I'm going to go on my knees. Shoulders are tired from that last one. 
to, notice my elbows are at an about 45 degree angle. They're not out like this. Five, six, chest all the way to the ground. Good, one more. Call it a full range of motion. You'll see the most benefit there. Maybe I'll lunge here. One, two, three, four. And go at your own pace. That's ten. If these feel easy, you can always switch them to jumping lunges. If you feel like your chest is dumping forward, hands behind the head. Helps me keep my chest open. 18, 19, 20, 10 more. 21, 22. Good job, four more. Less squats. Less than two minutes to go. Twenty of these. One, two. That's ten. Five more. That's 20 push-ups. Try these on my toes. Ten here. Oh goodness gracious, rocks. <laughs> One, two, three. If you're doing all on your toes, don't snake them. Thighs and chest should travel the same rate. Ten. Get away, back to lunges. 45 seconds to go. Nice vertical torso. I'm gonna lean forward. It's 10, 30 seconds. Twenty, ten more. Five seconds, you guys. Three, two, one. Rest. <sighs> Twenty. If you're ever able, join us. Seven a.m. every Wednesday. It's good stuff. Good morning, Kathy. You found it. Are you joining us? I know it can be super hard on that first one to get in on time, but you can always go back and watch it later. They stay up forever. So I think there's like, I don't know, six or seven or so that you can go back and do. It's nice to have you. <laughs> there it is. 25 seconds left. Try to catch that breath. Whew. We're going to go back and repeat that first one. So high knees, shoulder taps, and leg raises. And with another core blast. 10 seconds, you guys. You ready? Last five minutes of work. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That's 10. 20. 30. Remember, just jogging in place is totally fine here. All right, shoulder taps. Whew. One. Two, three, really strong core here, you guys. Good work. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, two more. Nine, ten, eight, nice raises. Remember those scales here. Belly button to the floor. 
One, two. Two helps me to put my hands here to remember to pull my hip bones up. That's four. Five. Keep yourself honest on these. Six. That back arches. You're not doing yourself any good. Seven. Scale it. Here. Nine. Ten. Or just don't go as low. Back to those high knees here. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Shoulder taps. This is probably the hardest part. The shoulder taps. What do you think? Remember, you can go not as low if that back is coming up. Two, three, four, five, six, four more, seven. You might be feeling this in the hip flexors too. Eight. Right in here, nine, lots of good stuff. Especially after those lunges, huh? All right, high knees. What do we got? Two minutes and 10 seconds left. 10. 20. 30. Whew, count it, you guys. Focus, so I got this. Ten. Half a meter. Slow it down if you need to. Stay with me, even if you do less reps. That was 20. That's a good way to scale. Alright, leg raises. Here we go. One, two, three, my little angel just woke up, four, five, got love, I'm almost done, you want to come over? I borrowed your mat, is that okay? Thank you, eight, nine, five, ten, good, back to leg raises. I'm gonna go say hi. Grammy Joe's on. 45 seconds, you guys. 10. 20. Hi, Grammy Joe. 30. Ah. Heart melting. Back to those blade sides, you guys. 30 seconds. Hello, 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 <laughs> hello, tiny guys. hello. Hey, hey, Olivia, will you put that clock for me? How much time is on it? Four, three, two, one. Zero. <laughs> awesome, you guys. Perfect timing. Hey, high five. Thanks for counting us down. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thanks for joining. If you have any questions about movements, again, if you want me to look at something to make sure your form looks good, I'm so more than happy to do that. I know it's hard to find a coach, especially if you work out just at like a LA Fitness or something like that, which is awesome. But if you want me to look at your form, I would love to. So just prop up your camera somewhere or ask somebody to take a video for you. And yeah, enjoy your Wednesday. And I will see you next week. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs> there you go, turn it off.
All right. Hi, babe. I love you. I'll see you soon. That was babe, my husband, in case you were wondering. <laughs> All right, you guys, have an awesome, awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.